that's just another one for four to five. California Chrome as we see favorites to long shots. And California Chrome is now the most heavily bet Triple Crown hopeful ever. More money bet on him than any other horse going for the Triple Crown, something above nine billion dollars. Six months ago, this horse couldn't win a stakes race for California Breads in California. Now he stands on the cusp of Triple Crown immortality. It's amazing. You know, you pray as a jockey that your horse stays relaxed going up in this race, especially in it. I'm almost worried he's too relaxed right now. I mean, this is too good to be true. Art Sherman, 77 years old, came with swaps in 1955 as a stable hand to win the Derby. Steve Coburn and his wife Carolyn, co-owners. Harry Martin, you don't ever hear quite as much about him, but the man planned out the run for California Chrome to get to the Kentucky Derby. Since then, why not keep going, as Steve Coburn said. Wicked Strong is the top of the year. Yes, it has. I mean, he's a little bit more on edge than some of the others, but only fractionally. For him, this is really good behavior. Right on, Curlin. John Velasquez with his legs out of the irons, helping to keep their horse loose. Just like Wicked Strong, you see just a little lather under the reins there, but this is a warm day, and they've warmed up a little bit here, so that's nothing unusual, nothing, uh, nothing to be alarmed about. Right on Curlin, that tongue hanging out. He runs with that tongue hanging out the side of his mouth in all of his races. And here's Totalist. He might be more on edge than anybody, but they're getting closer to the gate. The noise level is ramping up, so it's not uh, a surprise that he is on his toes a little bit, and he will probably break and run fairly close to the pace, assuming it's a good break, early in the race, going into the first turn. And we pointed out California Chrome's occasional starting gate issues, nothing lately, so keep an eye on Chrome in the gate. The deers sensing that uh, the time is at hand. Here's the crowd cheer, and the horses will go into the starting gate. Here's California Chrome, still 4-5, to five, to win the Triple Crown. They will double load for efficiency, the inside, and the, the 1 and the 6, the 2 and the 7, and so on and so forth. It's going to all load for efficiency. But let's get to the outside, folks, the dark shirt and the song. Side now, and he's within three lengths of the lead as they run three quarters of a mile in one. 
one minute, 12 and four fifth seconds. Around the far turn, Commissioner on the inside, General A-Rod, totalist, California Chrome is still fourth, but he gets beginning to move on the far outside. Metal count is behind them as Commissioner makes the lead to the top of the stretch. General A-Rod is second, totalist, California Chrome, he's on the far outside, he is four wide, and they're into the stretch. It's General A-Rod, totalist, here's California Chrome on the far outside, and he's a furlong from Immortality. He is up on the outside of Commissioner. Here's Wicked Strong in the center of the track. Commissioner, California Chrome on the outside. Totalist, totalist, Commissioner, it won't be a triple crown this year. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close, and Totalist get there. Totalist has won the Belmont Stakes. He has defeated Commissioner. Wicked Strong and Metal Count were next, and California Chrome, in his quest for a triple crown, finishes fifth today at Belmont Park. Disappointment not only of the California Chrome connections, 